What's up guys and welcome to day 40 of the 100 days run streak challenge. My name is Jeremy and you're on the marathon experience. And today we're gonna discuss the extraordinary race that happened in Valencia, Spain on the 6th of December 2020. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie, I don't follow so much elite running, I don't follow races, I don't know a lot of elite runners. I obviously know the main ones that everybody would know about, but I don't go into the detail, I don't follow races every weekend or anything like that. But I am a runner, I do understand running paces, running times, and I do understand when something extraordinary happens. And that is exactly what happened in Valencia on the 6th of December. You might have heard about the main news, which is that Kibi Watt Candy has the new world record for half marathon, which is now at 57 minutes and 32 seconds. But if you just stop there with this news, you really haven't seen what's extraordinary in this race. First thing that is absolutely extraordinary is that the record was beaten by 29 seconds. So before this race, no one had ever had an official record below 58 minutes. The record was at 58 minutes and one second. So basically no one had done 57 minutes, nothing official at least. And this guy just came and took half a minute away from this time. If you just pause there, try to sink that in, that is massive. Half of a minute of something that is already the world record of a half marathon distance. That's just mental. But what is truly extraordinary about this race is that actually the four first contenders, they were all below the 58 minute mark. So four of those guys actually beat the old world record. Just think about this again. There is one guy that has the world record for a few years, which means that in the few years that passed, no one has beaten this record. And then, during one race, four people did better than the best thing ever happened in this distance. That's just mind-blowing. Also, there's a little thing that I like to play sometime is when I look at those world records, I did the same thing with Elliot Kipchoge for the marathon, which by the way, is not a world record because it wasn't official, but anyway. I love to put those things into perspective and looking at their running pace. And although I would never do a comparison to myself, I think it's kind of cool sometimes to try to put myself into their shoes, so to say, and try to think about, okay, how could I run at this pace? A half marathon in 57 minutes and 32 seconds means a pace of 2 minutes and 44 seconds per kilometer or 4 minutes and 24 seconds per mile. <laughs> Try to think about this. I looked briefly at some of my sprint uh, sessions and even on like 200 meters I'm usually <laughs> I'm quite lower than 2 minutes and 44 seconds pace. Which again, I'm not comparing myself, like I don't consider myself I'm super far from any type of elite level. Or I'm not even a good level as an average runner, so I'm just the one who enjoys running a lot. But I think it's just cool to put things into perspective sometime and realize how incredible those guys are. And try to think a little bit about how much effort do you think it takes to get to that level? How much dedication to your training, to your nutrition, to your everyday recovery and all those effort only put towards one goal beating the world record or winning a race or getting a medal i think i'll always be amazed by those people who are able to put so much dedication to one thing and do this one thing the best in the world so finally i just congratulations to give you a world candy for this extraordinary performances also congratulations to the three runners that came just behind him who would have been the world record holder if it weren't for candy that's it guys i hope you liked it i don't usually do those type of videos with running events because i don't follow them so much but if you enjoy those videos give me a thumbs up, put it in the comments and I'll definitely do some more of those. I would like also to try to take those events and kind of extract the thing that we can learn also as average runner, I would say, not as elite. Because honestly, I don't think my channel has a place for elite to get anything. I'm not an elite runner, I'm far from that. And I don't think I have anything to learn for the people who wants to be elite or wants to win races. I only run because I enjoy running so much and I want to pass on this joy that I have of running and help people, maybe losing weight, maybe just getting better at running, challenging themselves to run further, longer, faster, but I think we can sometimes learn from elites, even if we don't have the same goal as them. Alright, now let's switch to the run streak update of the day. Today I ran on my own, just another 10k, an hour and two minutes, 
leg felt pretty fresh today, so I was quite happy about that. This morning my weight was at 77.6 kilograms, so around 171 pounds, which is kind of strange because yesterday was cheat meal day, but at the same time also I slept a lot longer today, which usually influenced the weight on the scale a lot. So it's most likely gonna go up tomorrow, which is quite logic, like two days after cheat meal day, that's usually the day where you can see like a little bump on the weights but hopefully after those two days then it will start to slowly go down again and I'll be hitting the next targets pretty soon so I can move on to the next cheat meal. Also today I started again uh, the one punch man challenge so I'm still at level 6 which means that I'm doing 60 squats, 60 sit ups and 60 push ups. At first I thought I would be moving every 5 days to the next level like going 70 and 80 of each but I realized that at 60 of each I'm already quite painful and quite sore on the next day so I don't think I can go higher than this for now. So I'm just gonna keep enjoying it and continue doing this. By the way, if you're joining the channel right now, I am in the middle of a 100 days run streak where I run a 10K every single day. And I also upload a video on YouTube about my progress, tips, running events like this. So if you wanna be part of the journey, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you tomorrow.